another day another video welcome back to the channel everybody today we're watching the vampire diaries this is episode 15 of season 4 hopefully you guys are enjoying the series so far the first three seasons happen upload to the channel as well as the start of this one you can go back and enjoy i need to say it straight away right from the get-go that in seven days from this episode so obviously we've got episode 15 to episode 22 that we are going to be able to start watching the originals and i would like to know your guys opinion i'm going to drop a uh, drop a poll in the comments and it's going to be there i'm going to mention it in the next episode well actually i'm going to mention it in every single episode all the way up to the very end that the seven days in a week so that means that there's three episodes of one show and four episodes of the other now i'm going to leave it down to you guys to decide do you want four episodes of the vampire diaries and three episodes of the originals or do you want four episodes of the originals and three episodes of the vampire diaries you know i'm gonna put this decision in your hands because it's a tough one for me i mean i've not watched any of the originals yet so i might actually enjoy the vampire diaries that much where i can start where i pick it but i'm going to stick with what everyone decides obviously that's the whole point of this uh, this uh, poll in the comments um and it's going to be there in the description for the next uh well the entirety of this season so hopefully you guys go there and vote and i can't stress it enough please let me know because it's going to be big changes to the channel obviously now recap the last episode they went down there Catherine's back she attacked elena she shocked me i didn't expect it damon was selfless he said to rebecca he said to Stefan, he knows go down there get the cure for elena they know there's only one dose um you know he's doing it for her he's not doing it for himself he's not doing it for anyone he's doing a well you know even rebecca said mate you actually are progressing as a person you might becoming a better person than i ever expected which is nice um bonner she end up seeing a grandma jeremy pulled her in saying it's not you mate it's silas that she see he's, you see in there he's literally getting into your mind um they've down there like i said uh elena was attacked by Catherine. she's gonna over attack jeremy put his hand into silas she's fed snap jeremy's neck hopefully he's got his ring on don't want him to be dead bonnie's down as well she got hurt from the hunter who attacked damon Catherine's got off with the cure there's only one dose of it tyler he's uh he's left now uh well he's, he's running from klaus klaus has pretty much given him a head start he said look i'm gonna cut he told caroline he promised her that um he's not gonna kill him yet he's gonna let him uh, have a chance to escape and uh he's showing him a bit of mercy now, obviously, Caroline wanted full mercy and not to kill Tyler and just let him go and live away somewhere somewhere else. But uh, Klaus was saying, mate, how can I do that? How can I let somebody who's killed my family, who's done this and all this stuff, took my werewolves down, took the hybrids, come after me, tried to kill me, you know? I'm going to have to live up to my reputation. It's funny that, though. Like, literally, it's funny. Um, and uh, obviously, it's just giving my head start and let him go. So, it's interesting. I said that I think Silas is going to rise. He's going to become stronger and bigger and better than Klaus. And he's possibly going to be one of... Uh, the main characters i'm assuming going forward because klaus i am going to assume is going to step away and play a smaller role while we transition over to the originals so that is where we're currently at i'm very excited i think this episode is going to be sick now every well now he's awake everybody's down there who's he going to do he's going to attack everyone we don't know i'm going to jump right into it hopefully guys enjoy it too please smash the like and the button if you uh, enjoyed today's video subscribe if you're new thanks for clicking on my video and as always let's jump into today's episode <laughs> Oh, it's like we're back in the normal time now. Jeremy! Oh, he's got his ring on me. Everyone just dives straight onto his hand, don't they? You're gonna be okay, Jeremy. How'd this happen? Oh, wait, unless, right, that Silas is not actually. Mm, I'm gonna say he is immortal, to be fair. Um, but because he was feeding on Jeremy... Yeah, I'm going to say he's immortal. Like, I, I was going to say, unless he's not immortal, then he was in the transition phase and he's killed Jeremy and he's gone, gone. But I'm not going to say that. Um, it literally popped in my head, but I feel like he's he has died. What about the cure for Silas? If there was anything in there at all, it's all gone. Elena's in there waiting for the Gilbert ring to bring Jeremy back to life. Danny, listen to me. Jeremy was one of the five. Oh, yeah. A hunter. He's supernatural. Maybe it's lifted, though, because he's brought him back. No. I'll find Bonnie, you get Elena off this island. Oh, I was just dead. Like, that's a shit death for Jeremy, that. Hey, you're home. I couldn't get the spot out. Come on, let's get him upstairs. Oh, that's intense. It's really intense. I'm fine. I'm just going to sit here and, and wait with him until he wakes up. My heart's Let pounding. Let me know if you hear anything about Bonnie, okay? Oh, God, mate. My heart is literally fucking pounding. I'm hoping that the cure, the, the, the thing was lifted once Silas was raised. His face looks sick. 
Unless you're a blonde, a Bennett witch, or a doppelganger, I suggest you steer clear. Where is it? Oh, oh shit. Cure. <laughs> I know someone has it. The doppelganger? Yeah, a sneaky little bitch must have been spying on us for weeks. <laughs> she killed Jeremy. Killed your brother. What's not with the fake sad face? I didn't say I was going to miss him. Catherine Pierce is gone. We mm -hmm. need to find Bonnie. Oh, and beware of the immortal Silas. What's he look like? Oh, it's this guy. How's he walking? I used some of the island's herbs and berries to help treat the wound, but not being an actual witch. How are you healed? Mm-hmm. It was Silas. Oh, I know the guy's thanking him. Okay, but now you'll see everything I did. All you can't bring back the dead. Oh, he's gone, when Silas awoke, he had to feed. He needed blood. What are you saying to me? He drained him of his blood and body. Jeremy's dead. Okay, now that's well intense. My heart's literally pounding already. I'm in for a great episode. She hasn't said anything except that she's waiting for him to wake up. But he's not going to wake up. She knows that, right? He feels grief more powerfully than anyone else. I think her denial is the one thing protecting her from letting it all in. Use a sire bond to convince her that everything's okay. I'm not One positive. I know that he was supernatural. I said the that. The tattoo had the spell that opened Silas's chamber. Maybe it being gone means that he's fulfilled a supernatural destiny. There's a chance. It may be minuscule, but it's hope. What was Stefan saying last episode may never have hope. You know where he is? As far away from Klaus as he can get. Can't believe after all that, the cure is gone. Do you know what? That was actually sick, what Steph Stefan just said about Catherine and that. She could literally take it to Klaus, couldn't she? I said, do you want the cure? Boom. There it is on a plate now. I want your word that I am free from you ever coming after me. That is such a sick idea because Catherine's not the type of person to take the cure. I don't think she would ever take it herself. I did say in the last episode, why would she not just take it? You know, it's right there. I would just do it now. But that was just in, in the moment. Now I'm thinking about it. Catherine would never. Well, I, I wouldn't think Catherine would take it. And she was doing it for a bigger purpose. That was a great idea from Stefan then. I really liked it. Need a funeral or a cover story or a funeral and a cover story. It's I don't know. Whatever people are supposed to do or make in these situations. What's that smell? Oh, are they smelling death? It's his body. Tell your mom to get Dr. Fell over here. I don't like being out in the open like this. I'm afraid of the big bed, Silas. And you're one to talk about being afraid. You're also scared you're 1,200 miles away from where you're supposed to be. Are you terrified of being there when she realizes that her brother's dead? <laughs> oh, this guy again. Silas is back now. This guy don't have a purpose. I don't want any of your stupid teeth, Shane. Be careful. Don't let your magic get out of control, Bonnie. Bonnie! Bonnie. Bring Jeremy back. Bring everyone back. Mate, what does Silas look like? What are you doing here? I came to check on your brother. Once I remember he was gone for almost an entire day. Four times before he lost his mind, and so we'll have to keep an eye on him because I don't want him to go crazy just like Rick did. His neck also appears to be broken. His muscles have tightened past the point of rigor mortis. No, stop, he's not dead. I need you to release the body to me. He's not dead! Barrels do science! We use vampire blood to save my life. We need magic we have to find bonnie bonnie can fix us somebody just get me bonnie i'm fucking gutted me that jez is dead like he's growing on me like he's dead i'm like getting depressed bonnie will be here soon and she'll fix everything and it'll be all fine Ah, oh, fucking gutted jeremy's dead me like honestly i know like he's not my favorite character and all and i know this is probably the worst i've been when someone's died and i think it's because when fucking when alari died right I still feel like a liar. It's coming back. I, I, do you know what I mean? Like Jez, they, 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 they honing it in on us. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. You know, they got a doctor. He's dead. You know what I mean? They keep telling me we're like with, we're Alaric. I don't know. I still think Alaric's gonna come back. I don't know why. Maybe I'm stupid. Um. But yeah, just like with the signs with Damon sliding the glass, you know, we've seen him in the start of this season behind Damon speaking. I feel like he's a ghost and he's trapped in the other side and maybe Silas or Bonnie, like uh, Shane saying, they could bring him back. But with Jeremy, with his body decomposing and all this shit, I feel like he's gone, gone. I'm gutted, man. You're not dosing me again, are you? Poison your best friend once and suspicion fell off. <laughs> Lost Bonnie on the island. Damon stayed back to try and find her. I think he actually kind of loves her. He does fucking love her, doesn't it? the people that you care about. I want you to go somewhere with me. There's nothing you can do right now. Okay? Stefan can stay here with him. I was completely willing to accept the fact that you were one man. And then I got boned by my vixen nemesis, Miss Catherine. You long enough? Sorry. 
I had to dig the arrow out of my spine. Thank you for that. We can't kill him. But that doesn't mean we can't tear him apart. Piece by piece. And then we'll heal you. Do it again. And again. And again. Catherine found me. Said she could help me find Silas. I knew about the hunters, Mark. Thank you. How? Found the werewolf girl. Haley. Fucking Haley. I've got a lead on the cure, Damon. I'm going to find it. I wanted that cure for her because it's what she wanted. She needs me to bring our best friend home. Silas can't do magic. Can be a witcher or a vampire, but never both. You've had 36 people killed? No, I've had 24 people killed. Fucking hell, he's an extra. 12 the young firm, 12 hybrids. Look, you and I are going to complete the triangle. It hurts. Jeremy! Help me. I can help you! Help. He needs your help. Shit. You can do this, Bonnie. I'll do whatever it takes. What I would like to know is, who's killed the most people in this show so far? Now, this guy Shane, he might have been complicit, is that the word? Like, he knows factually of 24 people dying, but he's not physically done it himself, so he hasn't killed the 12 people uh, in the barn, the pastor did, but he was involved, and he didn't kill the hybrids, Klaus did, but he was involved. Now, I'm just trying to work out, if Bonnie kills 12 people now, yeah, is she going to be up there she, with Stefan and Damon? If Stefan and Damon killed 12 people, um, I feel like 12 is quite a lot, but then it, it seems long. But then when I'm trying to think about it, I can't remember, literally remember many, many, many people that, that they've killed. Um, so Bonnie could literally t transition her from the nobody to the, the, the most murders. I'm bumping the AC, but we're not going to be able to leave them in there for much longer. You think with the amount of people that I've seen die... It would hurt less each time. No, I think the denial is the worst part for people. Because we know the truth. We can see they're on a collision course with it, and all we can do is brace ourselves for impact. I can't just leave her behind. I can't I can't show up without Bonnie. Sire Bond is probably the only thing that's going to keep Elena together. I can go back to find Bonnie. The camera's got so much better this season. Look how crisp it looks. I could actually hug you right now. Where have you been? How'd you find me? I know how to bring Jeremy back. Oh, she looks like she's possessed. Just before this starts, I reckon Damon's going to go along with the plan as well. So Damon's going to kill 12 people as well because I think that Damon will do anything, yeah, to get give Elena what she wants. And if it means killing 12 people to make her happy, to bring Jeremy back, then he will do it. He brought me to the stoner pit. I want you to see something. Vicky. I found this after Vic died. It made me smile. Jeremy and Vicky. Did he do that? This crazy-ass world we live in. Sometimes not being willing to accept that someone's gone is maybe they're not. Compelled you to tell me the truth, is that what you would say? <laughs> I would tell you that it's okay to have hope. Can't wait for Matt to become an asshole because I've not seen it so far. I actually like him. <laughs> Demon found Bonnie. Okay, we'll be home soon. Killing Silas is your supernatural destiny, not mine. All right, okay. Well, you be careful up there, you know, because he's up there. Oh, he's got his mask. Found it in the chamber where he lay. Beats him. I knew he was gonna say that. Doesn't matter if you're human or vampire. You're doomed. May you rot in it! Oh, they big, they big him up so much. I can't. I'm so excited. Again, you probably ditched your phone, which is the smartest thing that you could do. So when you get this, call me back and I'll tell you everything. So, so worried. I need to talk to my brother. What's wrong? I'll do whatever it takes. We'll see him again. I need to complete it for Silas. Bonnie, you can't kill 12 people. I know it sounds crazy, but it's the only way to get enough power. He's been trapped in there for 2,000 years. See, Ketsy had already went up to him. She knew that he wanted to die. So she created the other side. It was ensuring that if he died, he'd end up there forever. I mean, the whole flight back home, all she could talk about was how she's the one that could drop the veil between this side and the other side. It's not just one or some. It's every supernatural being over there. One. And the witch spell of the century Every supernatural being over there is back with vengeance. I'll we'll all be back. You can do this. You are not killing 12 people. I have the power. We can bring everyone back. My got fucking goosebumps for me. Hello? Elena? It, it's April. I was looking for Jeremy. Jeremy can't come to the phone. He's dead. She's coming to terms with it. She's not going to do the plan. I'm with Damon. 
Uh, I'm a Damon on this one. I'm the Damon, Steph and Caroline. Matt is even in it as well. Bonnie is literally speaking like a crazy person, isn't she? Like, she's definitely possessed by Shane, I think. Who's Silas? I need to see him. Like, is he tucking the possession of somebody's body? Because witches can do that, can't they? You know? Um, Esther done it when she took over... Um, was it Rebecca that she took over? I can't remember now. She's done it anyway. Um, and the fact is, yeah, that I've not seen him. And uh, like the guy in the cave said, me, who, how can you be scared of someone? Or how can you know who to trust when you don't even know the person that you're supposed to be scared of? Which is facts. I can't have it, me. Not like like they were saying. Every single supernatural being that's ever died. But every person in the world just think of it. Don't like. Let's forget about the supernatural thing. Like if you could selectively choose, it's different. In raising the whole entire dead, how many people are coming back? Literally everyone. Imagine all the bad people. Imagine. I mean, it's going to be a lot of good as well. But loads of supernatural. Imagine how many people are going to come back and want to murder people who killed them or all this crap. Yeah, like. Um, and the fact, yeah, that Bonnie, she's probably convinced about killing 12 people, isn't she? I'm, I'm interested in me, because I, I kind of want now, in the last few episodes, I want Bonnie to go for it. I want her to go and try and kill everybody and everyone else to stop it. And I want her powers, because she's so strong, that she fights him. I mean, uh, that's what I want anyway. I want her to go for it. I want her and Silas on one side, everybody else on the other, and fight, fight, fight. Maybe Klaus come in as well and see if he can try and take out as well. That'd be interesting to finish off the season. Do you reckon his skin's gonna all change different colour or they've Stefan's talking him away? Or oh, David maybe Cybon's gonna come in. He's dead. He's dead and and he's been dead this entire time and I I can help you. How 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 are you gonna help me? How are we bring him downstairs. Okay, we shouldn't just carry him down, please. Bonnie. We told Matt to take her home. We thought it'd be best. Lena. You need help finding something? Animal attack, tumble down the stairs. No, we, we burn the house down with him inside of it. I don't want these sketches. I don't want this Xbox. That is literally what you'd be like, wouldn't you? Anymore. I mean, unless you guys are willing to bring back every supernatural creature on the other side, because I wouldn't. Go on, Elena. He's not gonna need that anymore. Elena, stop it, you're scaring me. What else are we supposed to do with the body, Caroline? There's nothing here for me anymore, Stefan. My mom, my dad. Jeremy and, and Jenna and I can't even there's nothing left for me anymore. Ah. No. How do you feel coming this? It's intense, isn't it? Because <laughs> up. I I can help you. Turn it off. What? Oh no man, that's the wrong thing. Oh you can turn it back on though, can't you, Damon? Go away. It's what I want you to do. Look how serious she looks now, I like it. Are we at the end of the episode? I thought he was going to blink and then the vampire die was just going to pop up. That would have been sick. Oh, fucking hell. What an intense episode this is, man. Literally. So intense the whole way. I, I mean, I'm going to be a little bit fuming if I don't see Silas now. Um, two episodes not seeing him. Come on, man. You can't tease like that. Turn it off as well. I don't blame Damon for turning it off because he could just go over and say, turn it back on. Can he not? If he, if he can't, then obviously, then I've got a different opinion on what's just happened. But... Right now, I believe that he can tell her to do whatever he wants, right? So, he's saying turn it off right now is definitely the best thing for her because she's going out on a spiral, isn't she? She's literally on a downward trajectory. And if he could turn it off and just get her to just be zen for a little bit while they try and get everything sorted, get all the plans together, sort stuff out, don't blame him. And then he goes back, he could turn the humanity back on. I'm all for that. It's a good plan. Um, but obviously, if he can't do that, then it's a bad move. So, we'll see how it plays out. But right now, with information that I am hoping uh, that he can do and turn it back on i'm gonna get a thumbs up jeremy's dead tyler i'm so sorry i thought that you would call and i could tell you and there's no way that yesterday was the last time that i'm ever going to see you or talk to you get some sleep on we'll talk tomorrow you know i wouldn't even try and persuade her not to I'd just say yeah sure whatever have a good night you said if I drop the veil to the other side, that the dead will return. That's only for the supernatural. What about the 12 people that died on the young farm? They've passed on. They've found peace. You and I. No, Silas is in this guy then. We are the beginning. Ah, uh, I'm just... Is Silas in this guy? I don't know. The way he's talking got me conflicted. Every time he speaks to Bonnie, she looks at him like she's compelled and she's like, she's possessed. Oh, Rebecca as well, she's on a Jack Jones in the forest. 
Oh, I knew it, man. So it is Silas inside him. Can Silas tra- Oh, no. I was gonna say, can he transition from- into people? Oh, shit, man. It's getting good. You know, I think it's fucking getting well good. Oh, he's not gonna go and kill himself or try, is he? Oh, it's like back to the start now. This is the only way she's gonna survive. I mean, that was all she had left. Humanity means nothing when you don't have anyone to care about, Stefan. I'm not enough. Not this time. I know that you and I, we've been through some bad spots lately. I guess none of that matters anymore. I want you to know that, uh... Tell me you're loving me, go on. I know, Stefan. I want to say a hug between the... Yeah, there we go. If you burn down the house, what if one day when this is all over, you want to come home again? I can't believe they're just letting it burn down me. Did See you later, Jasmine, honestly. Oh, the diaries and everything, the pictures. Hmm. Do you know what? I feel like he is dead, dead. He felt like a send off. Episode 15, man. Like, literally, they always drop some bad stuff, like, in Unexpected, don't they? I did think that Jeremy wasn't going to make it till the end of the season. If you go back, um, I think multiple times, I would say Jez is gone. Like, he's going to be gone. He's not going to make it. Devastated, though, I'm not going to lie. I think it's a bad move burning down the house, if I'm being honest. It is. I mean, it's not as if, like, you can't do a post-mortem and find out that he's drained of blood. You know, they can definitely... They'd be able to do that. They'd be like, yeah, this body was drained of blood, then he's had his neck snapped as well, you know? Like, this this, this house burning down is not a coincidence. You know, it's not an accident. It's definitely tied together. You know? Fire... All these people, they, they could tell, like, in real life, can't they, when a house is burnt down from a cigarette, and they could tell you, like, it happened in that corner over there. No idea how they do it. Clever people, that's what it is. So they, they're not going to get away... Literally, they're not going to get away with that, like... But uh, in terms of turning humanity, her humanity off, it's interesting. Um, I did not expect her to go through and burn the house down as well. She's literally turn her humanity off and don't give a shit now pretty much <laughs> which i didn't even expect that like um i, I just burned it down i feel like it was a decent send-off to be honest kind of like when you put the vikings in the river and boom you shoot an arrow and they burn off and send them away and uh, that's kind of what they just done to jeremy and silas to me is inside chain video i mean i we just gotta say rest in peace jeremy um I kind of feel like he is gone gone now and if he does come back it's just going to be in a couple of flashbacks you know he's been drained the blood had his neck snapped and now he's been burnt so i mean i don't know how he's coming back um kind of want rick to come back though i'm still holding on to that you know what no matter what happens i've got that little bit of hope that he comes back i am you know what i'm not gonna lie i'm pretty devastated that jeremy's died um like i said i'm not like team jeremy let's all like buzz off jeremy but i don't know like it's always gutting isn't it when you lose at least a decent character We've lost Tyler, but, like, yeah, he's going to come back. Do you know what I mean? Like, he's kind of going to come back, and I feel like Jeremy's just dead and gone. And dead and gone. And same with Alaric as well. And it's just like, oh, my God, why, man? Um, Silas, I think he's inside. Um, Shane, he's getting him on his head, literally. Um, he's using that expression. He's in there. He's telling her to do things. She's convinced that she's going to go and kill 12 people. Everybody else seems to be against it, which is correct in this instance but it doesn't mean that i don't want bonnie to actually go and try and do it though that would be absolutely sick um does that have to be 12 supernaturals i'm not sure um or 12 normal humans and where's it gonna happen i don't know interesting no klaus didn't really see much rebecca um she's stuck on that island it looks like with the other hunter she dropped him in um in the cave at the bottom he said that he said something online it's like how can you be um, scared of somebody when you don't know the face and the person that you're supposed to be scared of? Something like that. Anyways, it's just say, look, mate, he's roaming out there. No one even knows what it looks like. So who are you supposed to be scared of? Everyone. Do you know? Uh, <laughs> which is so true. And um, it looks like he's walking around Mystic Falls. So there's going to be, uh, what, around episode 15, there's five, six, seven more. Um, where's the storyline going from here? What is 
Catherine doing with the cure? Honestly, it wasn't even mentioned once, was it? She took it last episode and she's gone. Where's she gone? Is she giving it Klaus? Stephen dropped that sick line, like, mate, she could give it Klaus and then bargain for a freedom. That is so good. What a great idea that was. I had to give it credit when it was said, and I'll give it credit now again. It was sick. Um, there's loads of stuff that could happen now. Matt's going down on a downward spiral. He's devastated. She's dead. Elaine's got humanity turned off. Damon, you know, he was saying this is, um, you know, she might have had me, but this is, this is I'm not enough in this situation for Elena. Uh, Caroline, obviously, she's crying. She's gutted. She's lost Tyler. She don't know what's going on. She's losing her friends. Bonnie wants to try and kill everyone. And it's just literally, like, so many storylines going on. Like, you see, it's not hard to keep up, but it's like, you got to applaud it for all the different stuff that's going on. Like, you, 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 you're dabbling in everything. You know, like, most of the season, we're so into the love. Like, yeah, Elena, Damon, Stefan, and... And uh, Stefan and uh, uh, Elena, and then we had obviously Stefan and Rebecca. Oh, what's going on? And then boom, like next last three episodes, not even uh, just, nobody cares about it. I I've not even thought about it once because we transitioned into another six storyline, and this is going on, so it's great. I can't. I'm loving it, honestly. I really am. I need to just remind everybody if you miss a start, which I, I doubt you did, but the originals is coming soon. Please vote in the description which you would like to watch on the channel. More the Vampire Diaries, more the originals. I don't know. I'll have to see the comments and the uh, the 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 poll as we get closer to the time. But thanks for clicking my video. Really, really do appreciate it. If you did enjoy, please smash the like. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers, guys.